Okay, this is uh, question number five from Dr. Long's lectures 19 and 20 review questions. Okay, it's asking uh, what, what will happen if we have different mutations in the R subunit and C subunit of protein kinase A. Okay, so this is protein kinase A. You should know that it has two regulatory subunits right here, two catalytic subunits. The whole thing's dependent on cyclic AMP, and this whole thing, um, protein kinase A is going to control glycogen, lipid, sugar metabolism. There's a lot of stuff. So each of the two regulatory subunits have, sp have two spots for a cyclic AMP to bind. So when cyclic AMP is high in the cell, it's going to bind to protein kinase A at these uh, two regulatory sites, which releases the two catalytic uh, subunits. And catalytic subunits are going to help catalyze the transfer of ATP phosphorylation to protein substrates on their serine and threonine residues, which is going to lead to the protein substrate um, usually changing its activity. It's going to alter its activity in some way. So if we have a mutation, let's say for the, in the R, if we have a mutation in the R um, subunit, it could uh, inhibit protein kinase altogether because uh, it could it, you, you wouldn't have uh, cyclic AMP binding. It can inhibit the binding sites at the R subunit, which would inhibit, which would completely deactivate protein kinase A. Um, you could also have uh, a mutation in the R subunit that's going to not help it regulate the catalytic site, which would mean which would mean it be constantly on, because the R site you know helps regulate the catalytic site. If you have a mutation in the R site, um, that that it's not going to help uh, regulate the catalytic site. You're going to have a protein kinase A that's constantly active, and you don't want that. Um, you can also have a mutation in the catalytic site, and a mutation in the catalytic site um, what's going to probably going to inhibit uh, the its uh, duty, which is catalyzing the transfer of ATP, ATP phosphorylation to protein substrates, and that's going to remain, that you would inactivate it if you have a mutation in the uh, C site. So that is question number five, um, lectures 19 through 20 on uh, different mutations in the protein kinase A.